after removing the calvarium we can see the internal surface of the cranial fossa cranial fossa is divided into three parts anterior middle and posterior the anterior cranial fossa is formed by the bones anteriorly and laterally by the frontal bone posteriorly by the body and the lesser wing of sphenoid bone and the floor of the anterior cranial fossa is formed by the cerebral surface of the orbital plate of the frontal bone the cribriform plate of the ethmoid bone and the anterior part of the body and the lesser wing of the sphenoid bone here the main foramens we can see here is anteriorly foramen cecum and the ethmoid canal in the middle cranial fossa anterior boundary is the dorsum cellae and the posterior border of the lesser wing of the sphenoid in the posterior boundary is the dorsum cellae in the middle and the superior border of the pratus part of the temporal bone on laterally squamous part of the temporal bone the part of the parietal bone and the greater wing of the sphenoid bone we can see here the floor of the middle cranial fossa is found by mainly the greater wing of the sphenoid bone pratus part of the temporal bone and squamous part of the temporal bone and part of parietal bone and the body of the sphenoid bone in the middle the main features here we can see this is the hypophyseal fossa the anterior to hypophyseal fossa is the tuberculum cellae posterior to hypophyseal fossa is the dorsum cellae in this hypophyseal fossa is the pituitary gland is located and here we can see the anterior clinoid process here the middle on the either side of the tuberculum cellae the middle clinoid process on uh, one side of the dorsum cellae is the posterior clinoid process in this middle cranial fossa the temporal lobe of the cerebrum is located in the anterior cranial fossa the frontal lobe of the cerebrum is located on the posterior cranial fossa the anterior boundary is dorsum cellae and the superior border of the pratus part of temporal bone posterior boundary is squamous part of occipital bone and laterally the parietal bone the petromastoid part here it lodges the pons medulla oblongata cerebellum here we can see the foramen magnum the main foramens of the cranial fossa are foramen cecum and ethmoid canal in the middle cranial fossa here we can see the optic canal on both side of the lesser wing of sphenoid and here we can see the supra orbital fissure this is foramen rotundum foramen ovale and posterior lateral to foramen ovale is for foramen spinosum and between the sphenoid bone and pratus part of temporal bone is foramen lacerum on the posterior cranial fossa here we can see mainly foramen magnum here we can see the jugular canal and on the pratomastoid part we can see the internal auditory meatus on the side you can see hypoglossal canal on the back side on either side of the condyla condyles we can see condylar canals so the main foramens are foramen cecum ethmoid canal optic canal is here superior orbital fissure and foramen rotundum foramen ovale foramen spinosum foramen lacerum on the posterior cranial fossa is foramen magnum jugular canal hypoglossal canal indeed an auditory meatus is here on back side it is condylar canal thank you